this is another this is another California native. All right. Uh, the natives we've had, we had the coast redwood, we had the fan palm. And then this is another California native. This is called a valley oak. All oaks are in the genus Quercus, Q-U-E-R-C-U-S. Q-U-E-R-C-U-S, Quercus is the genus. That's the ancient Greek name for oak tree. And then the epithet is lobata, L-O-B-A-T-A, L-O-B-A-T-A, lobata. And that's because the leaves are low. Quercus lobata is a valley oak. Uh, it's native to the Central Valley of California, where we are here. Before Europeans arrived, the Central Valley only had one, one tree. There's only one tree species in the whole valley, and this is it. Today, um, because of agriculture and development, most of the valley oaks have been destroyed, and now we just don't have that many of them anymore. Right where we are here, we do have a fair number. Um, Oak Grove Regional Park at, in North Stockton on 8 Mile Road, they have a big population of, of, of valley oaks there. And also, um, the Cosumnes River Preserve, which is north of town, off of Twin Cities Road, if you know where that is. It's not very far away. Uh, that's a nature conservancy preserve. They have a ton of them there, too. So they're here and there. Um, there are huge trees, as you can see. They produce acorns. The fruit is a nut of acorns. And they were used by the native Californians as a food source. In fact, the acorn was the staple food of the California uh, Indian. And what they would do is they would gather them up. The men would gather the acorns, and the women would grind them up and turn them into food. And there were spectacular quantities of these acorns. Right? So they literally lived on them. The problem with acorns is they have a chemical called tannic acid. Tannic acid is toxic in high levels. And so what, what you got to do is you grind up the acorns and then you've got to pour water through it and leach out those tannins. So what they would do is they would dig a hole in the sand next to a creek, line the hole with leaves or a basket, put the mashed up acorn in there, and then they would pour water through it until all that tannic acid was leached away. Then it was safe to eat. And they would eat it every, I mean, that, that's what they lived on for thousands of years, okay? You guys ever tried acorns? You know, acorns are still eaten in a few places in the world. In Korea, acorns are eaten. And they're very nutritious. They're a little bit gelatinous, um, but they're, they're very nutritious. Um, and it's really a waste. You have all these acorns drop and just get ripped up by the lawnmower. That's perfectly good food if it's treated properly. Um, let's see, uh, what else? Um, the tannic acid, um, this is something people don't talk about much anymore, but it used to be a big deal. You ever heard of tanned leather? Tanning leather. Um, if you get an animal skin, let's say I get a rabbit and I kill it and I eat it, and I have the pelt, I have the skin, and I want to keep it, and I want to use it like leather, it has to be treated chemically before you can use it. If you let it sit the way it is, it will decompose and fall apart. So what you've got to do is you've got to tan it, and you use tannic acid, and it can be from acorns or other plants. And what you do is you put, you put this tannic acid on the, on the pelts or the skins, and what it does to the proteins is it congeals them in a certain way so they become taut and decay resistant. Once the skin is tanned, it can be used as leather. And tannic acid, this is a source of tannic acid. If you ever play around with acorns and break them open and get it all over your hands, 
your hands will get staining on them, dark brown staining from the tannins in the acorns. And if you got it in your mouth, high levels of tannins can really give you a stomach ache. It's pretty unpleasant. Uh, tannins are also in grapes. Grape skins are high in tannins. Red wine, which is made from that, has a lot of tannins in it. And when you drink red wine that's high in tannins, it has a chalky texture on your tongue. That is tannic acid. It tastes chalky. And some people are really sensitive to tannins. I am. It actually runs in my family. A lot of people are. And if you get enough in you, it makes you really sick to your stomach, like you've been poisoned. I mean, I know people, they can't drink one glass of wine. They're so sensitive. Or eating a big bowl of grapes could be enough to get sick on the can. Some people are not sensitive to it. What about all the squirrels who are eating all those? They're not sensitive. Okay. 